Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, I think what's wonderful about that video is you see a lot of the uh, students from different walks of life um, representing different uh, states and also different majors. So there's a good collection of uh, many different types of students at Nova Southeastern University and, and hopefully after this presentation, um, you know, it's, you feel like it's a place you could call home, um, you know, as, as you go into your, your college process. So again, kind of give you an idea of what to expect with the agenda. Um, we'll talk about the university a little bit, uh, what we have to offer at Nova Southeastern University, um, how you would essentially fit in for admissions purposes. Um, we'll talk some about the uh, financial aid, scholarships, and then, you know, kind of wrapping it up, um, you know, your VIP page, how to apply, and um, just some other general information about the institution and, and the, uh, the application process. Okay, so just kind of a uh, general snapshot of the university. Um, some of the numbers that we have, you know, out here on this on this slide are, are, are numbers that we think are important. Um, as far as you know, we were founded in 1964, um, so it's still relatively new. But in that amount of time, we've made great progress. Um, a lot of different majors to choose from, um, from undergraduate all the way up to graduate school. So. A lot of different uh, disciplines are represented here at the university, um, so it's a good chance, you know, if you have a, a major in mind, uh, we'll be able to help you out with that and offer it on the campus. Um, with that, over 50 majors currently right now, and we're always adding more. Um, we have many, many students from all over um, the U.S. as well as international. And with, what's important about that is, you know, the adage is not just what you know, but it's who you know. So after you graduate, we have a lot of good connections with alum um, to hopefully plug you into your first job and, and really start doing wonderful things, you know, outside um, in the real world, essentially. Some more numbers, again, very diverse campus here in South Florida, um, which I think is a wonderful um, attribute of the university. Many different people, again, from all across the U.S., um, international. Um, so there's a good chance, you know, that, you know, whatever your background is, where you're from, there's going to be people like you, um, you know, that you can obviously use, um, you know, as, as a comfort zone at the university. But with that, there's also going to be many, many people that, um, you know, you might never have exposure to, which also is a great environment to learn about, you know, other people, diversity, their cultures too, which, which is a great thing about the university. Many clubs, um, social organizations, you know, so try to get involved. It's your college experience, obviously. Try to join, you know, several clubs if you can. Um, you know, you're going to have a great time. You're going to make friends. You're going to really feel like you're connected into the institution and have that sense of belonging on the college campus, which is going to be paramount in your success at the, uh, at the, uh, college level. Um, one nice thing that we do have that we pride ourselves on are small class sizes. There's no big lecture halls, um, no TAs, pretty much all the classes taught by full-time faculty. 22 students is pretty much the average number right now for your class size, which is going to be great. Um, if you're an honor student, those classes can be, even be as small as eight students. So we really try to focus on that one-on-one -on -one environment with the faculty and the students. You know, you're not going to be a number here. You're going to be a person. You're going to, they're going to know your name. You're going to know the faculty's name. We have an open door policy. So if you ever have any questions, you know, about your about your curriculum, you know, if you want to drop into your professor's office. It's an open door policy anytime you can absolutely do that. Um, obviously in South Florida, for people outside of the, uh, the, uh, the, the Florida area, we have about an average temperature of 77. I'm from the Midwest, so I love this. No more winters. You know, I can pretty much come here, get rid of my winter clothes. We're literally about, uh, you know, 15 minutes away from the beach. Um, Miami is probably about 30, 40 minutes south. Orlando is just a drive north. Key West is a little drive south. So there's plenty of things to do here at the institution. Um, even outside of the campus life, you can get pretty much wherever you want to go. We have a uh, international airport right in Fort Lauderdale. You can come and go as you please through that. It's really convenient. So there's a lot of stuff to offer you, not just on the campus, but in the uh, South Florida um, region as well. Okay, so some of the programs um, that we do have uh, represented at the, uh, the university. Um, pretty much business, education, health, humanities, uh, human services, math, science, and technology, nursing, performing, and visual arts, and social and behavioral sciences. So, uh, again, a, a pretty a pretty wide spectrum of offerings here. Um, if you have an idea, some students always ask, you know, do I need to know my major coming into college? Um, it can be helpful, but if you don't know exactly what you want to do going into college, you know, that's what college is about. The first, you know, year or so, you're really trying to, you know, 
um, make that transition um, to the university setting. Maybe you'll be exposed to a new class and all of a sudden something will click, you know, and you'll be like, hey, you know, I really like history. That's something I want to pursue. Um, you know, my, my advice would be follow something you're passionate about. Um, if you really enjoy acting, you know, try, you know, theater essentially because it's going to make that uh, the process uh, a lot easier for you. You know, you're going to be tuned into your studies. It's going to be something that you enjoy doing, and it's going to make the whole, the whole, your whole time in college that much more enjoyable. So, if you have an idea, that's great. You know, if you're still kind of on the fence, you'll figure it out once you get to college. And we have great academic advisors here that will help you. You know, along your career path and sit down with you one on one to make sure they come up with a good game plan. Um, you know, about about your field of study. Okay, so one thing that we have also here at NSU is we have a program we call Dual Admission. Uh, this wasn't around when I was going to school. If it would have been around, it's something I absolutely would take an advantage of. And what it essentially is, is if you're a student that knows you want to go into a graduate program, you want to get your master's degree, your, your, doctoral, your doctoral degree after your bachelor's, or professional program like law or something like that, uh, we can actually reserve that seat for you in that program while you do your undergraduate coursework. So uh, you might ask, what's the benefit of this program? Well, essentially, you have peace of mind. You're going to know, let's say, for example, if you want to be a doctor. Um, if you are a high-achieving student and you're accepted into this program, your seat in our medical school will be reserved while you're doing your biology pre-med curriculum. So you have peace of mind knowing that, you know, as long as you maintain a certain GPA along that course, your undergraduate studies, your seat in the medical school will be reserved for you. Um, graduate school can be tough. You know, you might apply to several schools and only get into a couple. This will give you, you know, that, that peace of mind knowing your, your seat is reserved for you. Um, some students ask if I'm accepted into dual admission. Do I have to go to Nova Southeastern University for that graduate program? Um, absolutely not. It's, it, it's, it's there. Um, it's an option that we want you to take advantage of, but you know, after you graduate, if you say I want to go back home, um, you know, study my graduate program there, that's absolutely fine. You're not locked into anything. Just be aware it is a contract that if you maintain your part of the bargain, we'll maintain ours and reserve that seat for you in that program. But you're not locked in. Um, you know, so if you do choose, you know, unfortunately, if you do choose to leave or transfer somewhere else, um, you know, we, we we can we can honor that. So. Definitely take advantage of it um, on the application process. Just check you are interested in dual admission, and we'll initiate a lot of the communication um, back and forth about that program. Okay, some other stuff here. We have honors program. Um, I, I mentioned earlier about the class size. With that, can be eight students. Um, so we really, really want to get you involved with your with your area of study. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity. You know, not only will you be doing a lot more. Um, uh, you know, I would say more engaged in your in, in your study, but also it's a great opportunity when you graduate if you do the honors program to have that distinction um, on your diploma with honors. You know, when you graduate, it's like a sport. You know, for anyone who plays sports, you never want to just be average. You always want to be one step ahead of your competition. And graduating with this distinction will help you do that. So when you're looking for those first jobs, you can actually put on your resume graduated with honors. Um, talk about what wonderful things you've done, you know, as far as, um, you know, that program. Definitely recommend anyone who's eligible for this. Please do it. Uh, there's obviously early class registration, so you're probably going to get the best schedule, um, you know, that's going to help you out as far as, you know, what times you want to study, uh, you know, when, what days you want to do your classes. Again, please, if you're, you know, eligible for this, um, you know, absolutely go for it. Um, I think, you know, as, as you look back on your college experience, this will be something you definitely are very, very, um, you know, high, happy and excited that you took advantage of, of the honors program. So other stuff we have to offer is we have a great health professions um, division here at Nova Southeastern University. And what clinic exploration is, is it's essentially a program almost kind of like a, you're shadowing someone in that field. We have a lot of students that come in who know full well they want to be a dentist or a doctor. We have some people who have thought about the idea and just kind of want to get a little more insight on what these people actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. This program is something that we offer our students during you know, the start of their second semester. They can actually shadow some of these people in their professions to get a, a better idea of what they do um, every day. You know, it's, it's open to any major. If you're a music major but you always thought you might want to be an optometrist, um, it's open to you. If you're a biology student, know, you know <laughs> right, out, right out of the gate that you want to be a doctor, it's open to you too as well. But it's a good opportunity to really see early on in your college experience if this is something you want to pursue. 
because obviously going to a graduate program is a big investment, not just money, but your time, your dedication to your studies. So we want to make sure it's going to be a good fit for the student and, and they're choosing the right career path early on. It's open to any student though, so please absolutely take advantage of it. Um, and that's what it's there for essentially. We want to make your college experience the best it possibly can be. We also offer research opportunities. You know, this is, again, if you're thinking about going to a graduate program, this is something you definitely want to get involved with. Um, really start crafting your, 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 your CV, your resume, with all this stuff that really shines for you as a, as a student. Um, even if you're not thinking about graduate school right now, um, I would definitely recommend trying to get involved in research opportunity. And, you know, here at Nova Southeastern University, we really encourage our students to do that. And having that smaller class size, you're able to, you know, really be engaged and work with the faculty on a one-to-one -one level. A lot of our faculty are currently doing research in their field, and they love to have you maybe assist them with that. Um, if there's an area that you want to pursue right now that maybe a faculty member isn't pursuing, that's something we also encourage you to do, and maybe a faculty member can help you out along that way. Um, if you do some research and want to showcase it to your fellow students, your, your colleagues at a conference, that's something we can assist you with, your, your travel expenses, your conference fees, and really we just want to showcase your work, and you should be excited about your work, obviously you put the hard work into it, um, and it's a great, it's a rewarding experience to do that and then go ahead and, and relay your, your, your findings on to other students. So here at something we, we, we encourage, we take pride in it. Um, so we, we really look forward to, to our students and, 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 and you as prospective students if you come on the campus to really run with this and, and please, you know, absolutely take advantage of it. Okay, so travel study, next, the next slide here. Um, I never did travel study. I wish I would have. I think it's one of those things that you only can uh, really enrich your life through is the travel study. Um, sometimes you can get credit for it, essentially by going over to another country, maybe studying at a university or college there. Sometimes it might not be for credit, but it's really all about the experience. You know, just to give you an example, um, you know, we have students that are they're in the marine biology uh, program, and they go over to study the Great Barrier Reef. You know, what a great experience to go, go over to another country, do some studying, and also just really enrich your life with that culture. Um, this is kind of a small sample of some of the areas that we have done travel study. Obviously, it's not all of them. If there's an area that you are interested in, um, possibly, you know, going to, talk to your academic advisor. You have your own dedicated academic advisor here. If they have the um, agreement already set up, then it pretty much should be a pretty simple process. If it's some area we haven't gone into yet, we'll make sure we get the, uh, the paperwork and everything put forth so we can hopefully try to line that up for you. Um, but again, please, if you are thinking about it, it's a wonderful experience. Um, if you're not thinking about it right now, if things obviously down the road, if it's, if it's something you think you might be interested in, we can definitely work with you to help set that up. Okay, so obviously college is very um, based on academics. We want to see you succeed. We want to see you um, you know, do wonderful things in the university as well as outside, but it's also about really getting to know yourself, um, defining yourself as a person, um, and being involved essentially, and that's what's wonderful about college. Um, you need to study hard, but also we want you to be involved on the campus and really get involved in student life. Uh, we have a lot of clubs, a lot of organizations here. You know, some are going to be academic based, some are going to be more social based, some are more based on maybe a specific major. But the idea is, again, get involved. Um, they've done studies, obviously. The more involved people get, the higher correlation it is with their graduation, higher GPAs. Um, and so it, there are benefits, not only you know making friends, but they've done studies, and a lot of positive results are yielded from students that become more involved in their, in their, in their college process. So we have plenty of stuff here for you. If you're thinking about going Greek, we do have fraternities. We do have sororities. It's up to you. Be, involved, be as involved as you want. I would encourage you definitely to do it because, again, when you get out of college and look back, it's one of those things you wish you could have done, but it might be too late. So as an incoming student, everything's in front of you. Please make it your experience. Try to get involved as much as you can and really make it the best college um, experience that, 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 you can, that you can have, essentially. Okay, also one nice thing here is... Um, I've worked for a couple universities. I would say this is by far um, the campus here is beautiful. The dorms, brand new, own private bathrooms in them. So there really is a nice setup. Um, <clears throat> you can't beat the private bathroom. So if you're a clean person, guess what? Your bathroom's going to stay. It's going to stay clean. That's a nice thing. Uh, and we do encourage students to please live on campus. 
Um, again, they've also done studies with that. Students who do live on the campus, they, they tend to have higher graduation rates, higher GPA. And there's a lot of benefits that you can have by living on campus. You know, there's a couple high right here, top 10 reason. You know, you can kind of read down the list here. Free food, can't beat that. Um, one nice thing about college, you know, there's going to be food everywhere, hopefully. Um, so if you're hungry, guess what? You're going to find food. But it really, it's about convenience. You know, you're going to be on the campus. You don't have to worry about driving your car, parking it. You can walk, you know, to class, come back, study. We have shuttle buses running throughout the campus constantly. So, you know, if you do need to jump on a shuttle, it'll get you to the other side of campus pretty quick, pretty quick. So that's the first 10 through 6. And then the next one, we have 5 through 1. Um, a lot of stuff, free laundry, cable, phone, utilities, internet. I mean, it really, everything's included, um, you know, in, in, your, in your dorm. So it's, it's really nice. It, it's, all, it's all included right there. If you do have a car, though, and you want to bring it to campus, you absolutely can. Um, you can park it right outside your dorm. That's one nice thing. Um, my college, I had to park it way across campus, and I could only bring a car as an upperclassman, which is usually your junior or senior level. Here, if you have a car, you know, bring it as a freshman. We can park it right outside your dorm. Make it really, really convenient. If you're coming from out of state or out of, out of the U.S., um, there's still ways to get around. We have a shuttle bus that will take you to our grocery store, which is Publix. It'll take you to the Tri-Rail, the Tri-Rail, which is actually a train that runs north and south, um, connecting about three counties here in South Florida. So if you don't have a car, you'll still be able to get around. Um, if you have a car, obviously, you know, you can bring it to campus, park it right outside. Um, but moving down the list, I would say number two, number one, um, those are gonna, those are going to be key. We want you to have a good time. We want you to do well in college, succeed. And uh, it's all about your experience, please. So, you know, um, it is important. You know, if you can live on college, on the campus, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I think you'll, 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 you'll find that you really enjoy um, the, the, those years that you do live on campus. And for, pretty much from me living on campus, I still stay in contact with several people I've met. They're my friends. Um, and, and that's what it's all about, really. Okay, more on campus, we have meal plans. Um, sometimes students want to know about the meal plans. What we have here is called a shark card. It's a little ID. Um, it's your ID. It'll get you into the library. It'll get you into the, uh, the, uh, the rec center. Um, but it's also your meal plan. It's almost like a debit card. Um, money gets put onto it at the beginning of the year. Um, you swipe it take the food and run basically so you know if you do run out of money some people do like to eat um, you can obviously always put more money onto your card and, and, and that'll take care of you um, shuttles I mentioned their air conditioning you know um, so if it's hot side you can jump on the air conditioning shuttle it'll take you to the other side of campus you'll be there in, you know in, in, in no time um, security is a big issue we take it serious here uh, we never have any major issues but um, you know we do have basically security people in most of the buildings we take it very serious um, the gate the the, uh, the buildings have card key access so not anyone not anybody can just come in out of the dorms you have to have actually a shark card to get in we have a partnership with the Broward Sheriff's Office here so we do have um, Broward Sheriff's officers on campus too as well as long as our own Nova alert security people um, we have a text messaging system so if something does happen students will receive you know notification um, through the text messages and also shark TV which we have a lot of TVs throughout the um, the buildings in the campus that will alert any students to any issues um, but we do take, we do take it serious we've been fortunate we do have any issues here um, it's extremely safe campus so please feel feel free you know to come on the campus we encourage tours if you can always make it onto the campus, you know, we'll set you up with a tour, you can talk to our advisor, and we really just want to give you a good idea about what we have to offer you as a, as a student. Okay, so for those of you that are from South Florida, um, I'm sure you're aware of the cruises, the Miami Heat, um, a lot of nice things you can take advantage of. Um, if you're not from South Florida, um, obviously this might be new to you, but uh, we encourage you to come down. You know, if you're coming down for a vacation, please, you know, go ahead and make a, make a stop on the side, visit the campus. Um, you know, you know, we can talk to you about whatever you want to talk about, whether it's academics, um, you know, if it's about uh, scholarships, anytime. We're open pretty much six days a week. Uh, we'll talk to you. You can set up a college visit online. Um, you can give us a call at 954-262-8000, and, and we'll help you out, essentially. But these are a couple things that highlights um, which are definitely nice. Again, you know, the beach is right there. Um, we have cruise. We have two ports in Fort Lauderdale. We have one in Miami. Um, a lot of sports teams here. So if you're sports fans, we have the Marlins, we have the Heat, uh, we have the Dolphins. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff you can take advantage of being down here. Um, so there's, please, you know, again, come see the university. And then obviously, if you want to, you know, look at some other stuff in the area, please do so.
Okay, so athletics, we are Division II in the Sunshine State Conference, and here are a list of our um, athletic programs. The M would designate for the men, and the W would be for the women. Um, you know, one nice thing here is uh, our students, um, our athletes are student athletes. They're students first, um, and we're very proud about that. They do very, very well, not only academically, but also, um, you know, on, on, on the athletic side too as well. Uh, our women's golf teams have won several um, national championships. Our men's golf team just won a national championship. We've had several players on uh, our baseball team go to the major leagues. So we do very well. We're very proud of them. Um, and we're very proud of what they've accomplished, not only on the field, but also in the classroom. So that's one thing. If you are a prospect, um, maybe possibly to play a uh, sport, we do have a pros uh, prospect athletic page you can click on. Fill out your contact information, and it will go into the coach. Um, and essentially, they'll get your information. Hopefully, you know you can be in communication with them. And there's some money and scholarships available for that. Uh, if you can't play on the college level, we do have intramurals, which are more club-based sports. You know, you can pretty much play anything um, from basketball to softball. Um, and it gives yourself an opportunity if you played sports in high school, but maybe can't play on that on the on the college level, still to be active and, and involved in a sport. Um, kind of what I was uh, alluding to earlier about our student athletes. This, you know, slide pretty much you know shows how well they have done. Um, they performed very, very well academically, and we're very proud of them. And you can see right here, you know, their GPA um, and how they rank essentially. So we're very happy for them. Um, if you are, you know, a student athlete, um, this is a great place for you. We're gonna we're gonna prepare you, um, you know academically as well as um, professionally in, in that sport too. So hopefully, you know, if you move on to the, 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 the pro level, that's wonderful. But if not, and you, and you enter into the workforce right out of college, you're going to be prepared um, to do great things. So, okay, kind of give you some of the numbers here. Um, you know, this is kind of the averages, I guess, you know, for the high schools. Um, that is weighted. So right now our average incoming freshman has a weighted average of 3.71. Uh, SAT is a 10.50. One ACT is a 23, and then if you're a transfer student, um, meaning you have at least 24 hours of transferable college credit or more, um, that's what we're looking at for the uh, the college GPA. Uh, if you are a transfer student, we no longer look at the high school um, transcripts or test scores. We base our admission decision primarily off just the college transcript. Um, students sometimes ask, you know, do you take both ACT and the SAT? We do. Um, and we'll utilize whatever score you do best on. So if you do better on the uh, ACT, we'll use that one. If you do better on the SAT, we'll utilize that for your admission um, file. I will always recommend students uh, take both of them. Some students do better on one as opposed to the other. And whatever one that you find um, that you do better on and you feel more comfortable with, take that one at least at least you know, two or three times because what we'll actually do is we'll superset your scores. So what that means, let's say you take the SAT and you do really well on the math the first time, we'll take that math component, and if you do better on the verbal component the second time, we'll make that actually one score. So we'll take your best section from the math, best section from the verbal, and make that one um, total score for your SAT. And not just for admission purposes, but a lot of our scholarship money is tied in to performance, so you definitely want to do well um, and retake it. You know, I would say junior year, try to at least schedule the first test. That way you allow yourself, you know, you're going into your senior year too to retake it if you if you have to. And just kind of follow that with the procedures. You know, it's a fairly straightforward process. Um, get us your application. You can do that, you know, whenever you want. You can actually go online to uh, nova.edu and start your application process. The first thing you have to do is the VIP page, and then from there you go actually back in and do the application. Once we have that information on file, we'll build your admissions file off that. Um, you'll put down what school you're attending, you know, your contact information, and we'll build a checklist for you that you can actually log into, and you'll see um, when we receive certain documents, you know, which is nice. I always like to basically know if a place is receiving my documents, um, and you can do real time to see if we have received them. Um, now, what's going to happen also then is once the application comes in, we're going to need your transcripts. So if you are in, if you still are in high school, generally what we want to do, we want to see the um, start of your senior year, send the transcripts over to us at that point. We want to see completion um, up to your senior year. So when you start your senior year, send the transcripts over to us, um, send us your SAT or your ACT scores, both, if you've taken both, send those over. And we'll base, you know, an admission decision off that information. Generally it takes about two to three weeks once we have that information to get a decision. 
Um, we'll hopefully send you out a nice packet of information. Congratulations, you're accepted. And in that will be information on one of our scholarships. Now that's just a snapshot in time. If you retake your test scores, uh, if you graduate with a higher GPA, we'll always update your file to give you more money in scholarship. So if you are accepted and we let you know how much money you're gonna get in that scholarship, that's not concrete. If you do better, we can always update that to give you more money um, to help offset some of the tuition. So send us your documents, you know, hopefully we get your decision, a good decision in about two or three weeks, and um, be in contact with us. You know, we, we definitely encourage that. You will be assigned your own admissions counselor, which is nice. They'll work with you through your file to make sure from A to B everything makes sense. Um, you'll have your own financial aid advisor too as well. So if you have any questions about financial aid, they can talk with you. And then you have your own academic advisor. So it is a great environment. We really do we really do foster that one-on-one um, um, you know, interaction, and that's something that's important here. So for tuition and fees right now, what you're looking at is we are a private university. So if you are coming from outside of Florida, um, there's no out-of-state tuition. Pretty much being private, it's going to be the same whether you're coming from down the street or you're coming from Alaska. It's the same tuition, and it's based on a flat rate right there of $24,750, and that's based on a full-time status. So generally how college works is you take you know, one class equals about three credit hours. Um, so you can see if you take 24 credit hours per, um, you know, per, per year, that essentially is eight classes. Um, that'd be you know, four per semester. So four for the fall, four for the winter. Uh, if you go during the summer, that does not include um, the, the tuition right there. They'll charge you, you know, for the summer. That's just covering the fall and the winter. But you want to make sure, you know, you, you, most of the times you want to make sure you're going at least full time. Um, most of the scholarship money is tied into full time status. Um, if you are full time, there's more money available for you in grants and loans and, and scholarships. So um, typically what happens is you take about 30 credits per year. Um, most majors are 120 credits, so you will graduate in four years. Um, from that point, obviously, you can move into the job market or you can go to graduate school. It's up to you, um, but typically about four years to graduate. Um, if you do live on campus, we included here our residential fees. So the, uh, the 6800 that's based on dual occupancy. So it's yourself and uh, roommate. We have the meal plan there. So everything included, um, a little over 30000 but 85% um, of our students get financial aid. So that number usually comes down pretty low. Some of our scholarships are actually full tuition scholarships, and we have many students right now that are receiving those, and they're virtually going to school for almost next to nothing, and they're living on campus too. So we'll talk about some of the scholarships um, in, in, in the next couple slides, um, but that's what you're looking at for the, for the tuition and the fees. Okay, so you know, whether you may, you might have a good understanding of financial aid. Um, if you don't, I would encourage you to talk to anyone you can about financial aid. It is extremely important. Um, I was fortunate enough, my mother helped me out. Um, I utilized my counselor, you know, so there is information available. So please seek it out because financial aid is so important um, because the money is available for you and you might not know what you're eligible for until you actually apply utilizing the FAFSA. But just to give you a kind of a rough breakdown, um, you know, really just kind of uh, on the basics, grants are free money. Uh, any grant you get, you know, take it. It's free money. Um, some grants are based on your need. So if you demonstrate financial need, there are grants for you. Um, for instance, the Pell Grant. Um, if you live in Florida and you go to a private university and are a full-time student, there's another grant called the FRAG, Florida Resident Access Grant. That's free money. But the idea, it's free money. You want grants. Um, absolutely. We do offer scholarships. Now we offer our own institutional scholarships and we'll talk about you know some of those. Um, there are external scholarships too as well. You might be able to do a search online, find some scholarships. You know, please, if you do find something and you're interested in it, fall through. Um, the return on investment is is wonderful. I mean you might have to write an essay, give up some time, but you might get a thousand dollar scholarship off that. So try to find some scholarships if you can. There's many out there, but you should never have to pay for any of the scholarships. Um, usually, it's you know you write an essay, you're doing something, but make sure you read the fine print. Um, if it allows you to, to you know use that scholarship for a private university, um, you know which we are, um, we can we can help honor that. Um, other than that, we have loans through financial aid. You know, there's loans available for you. Um, but again, you know, we'll talk with you about all this information down the road and make sure it, you know it all makes sense. Um, to get, so we want you to have the best idea of what your expectations are financially um, if you do choose to come to Nova Southeastern University. 
So some of the scholarships that I mentioned, um, the first one we have is the Dean's Scholarship. Now, what that's going to be based on is your test scores, either the ACT or SAT, and your GPA. So once you send those documentation documentation over to us, um, we're first going to you know review you, and if you are admitted, we're going to include how much money you're going to be receiving for this Dean Scholarship in your admissions package. Um, it can be anywhere from two thousand to nine thousand five hundred dollars. That's annual. Um, it can be renewed. So um, as long as you're good academic standing that scholarship will be renewed. So that's one scholarship right off the bat there. Um, the next one, which is definitely the home run, is the President Scholarship. That is a full tuition scholarship. Um, that covers basically all your tuition, and then we also give you a $1,000 um, scholarship on top of that that you can use for your room and board. Um, so right here, the eligibility is a 3.5 GPA. We want to see a 1280 SAT or 28 ACT. And then you need to have logged in, um, you know, about about 100 hours of community service, essentially. Um, if you meet those requirements, right now we've had no cap. We've honored every student. So definitely, if you are in that area, continue to do the hard work. If you need, if you're just right there, you know, you know, just buckle down, um, you know, put the work in, um, because obviously with the full tuition scholarship, it, it's something definitely that we want to be able to offer you as a potential student. Um, we do have transfer scholarships, too, as well. Um, we do have a Dean Scholarship, which is based on the Transfer Scholarship, but we also offer the President Scholarship, which is also a full ride. Um, for a transfer student, again, being at least you have 24 hours or more of transferable college credit, we want to see a 3.75 GPA from college and then 75 hours of community service. So there's, there's a couple different layers there, um, you know, as far as if you're a high school student or a transfer student, um, but we do offer the full tuition scholarship. So if you've done the hard work, we want to reward you for that hard work. And you know nothing's better than a full tuition scholarship. So that's a couple right there. Um, also, if you're a transfer student, if you're a PTK member, we can give you some additional money um, for scholarship. This is 1000 right there. Um, but the last scholarship that I'll, that, I'll, that I'll mention is the Razor's Ed uh, Scholarship. And what that is essentially is we're looking for students that have been very involved in their community, um, been involved in their school, been involved in church, uh, clubs, sports, whatever it may be. The main idea, the premise here is that you've been involved, you've been engaged, um, and that's what we want to see. Students that have taken that ownership in whatever um, it may be as far as school or the community or whatever. Um, and it's a $10,000 scholarship. And when you see here on the slide, 4,000 that can be used for the housing and 500 can be used for your meal plan. So best scenario is you get the president scholarship that's going to cover all the tuition. They'll give you $1,000 on top of that too as well. If you get the Razor's Ed scholarship, you can use that $1,000 and the $4,000 to cover most of the housing. And then also the 500 bucks will go for the meal plan. Um, that's just two scholarships. You've almost pretty much knocked the, the whole cost down to nothing. And that's without including other grants, um, you know, other financial aid options. So that would be the ideal situation. And we have many students right now currently going to Nova Southeastern University that do have both of those. So please do the hard work. If you're doing the hard work, continue to do the hard work. It will pay off. Um, there's a lot of money available for you. So please, you know, absolutely continue to do what you're doing if, if, if you're doing well. And if any time you have any questions, please give us a call and we'll, we'll clarify any of this information for you and go over it with you too as well. Um, other areas of financial aid, we do have our own office. Um, they want to work with you. We're 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 very we're very um, um, you know open to doing that. But there are other avenues for financial aid. So please don't just limit it to a couple couple areas. Get on the internet, do some searches. Um, there's a website called Fast Web. Uh, you get on there, you create a profile. They'll send you information that's going to be specific to your profile. You know, some of the stuff might be okay. Some of the stuff, you know, go for. The idea, though, it's all coming to you. You're sitting back. The scholarship information is coming to you. But utilize as many avenues as possible. Um, there's many scholarships available out there. You just have to do some work to find them and then do some work to, to actually secure them. So, you know, sky's the limit. You know, please put some work in. Try to find the scholarships. Uh, money is out there for you, so you just got to find it. Uh, financial aid, our own office, you know, usually um, students ask, when's the first time I can do the, the FAFSA? Um, January 1st of your incoming year, that's essentially when, when you can do that. So if you are going to be a senior and you're looking at coming to Nova Southeastern University in the fall, it'd be essentially you have your senior year and then fall 2014 would be your incoming year um, as a student. So financial aid, January 1st, 2014 would be the first time you could do that.
get that information in as soon as possible because some of that money is um, is uh, first come first serve. Uh, it's like a pot of money, you know, a lot of the grant money people keep taking out of um, and once it's gone, it's gone. So try to get us your financial aid as soon as possible and that way you also have a good idea um, of what you're going to be eligible for. Um, that's our school code right there, 001509. Um, that way our financial aid office will get a copy of your W-2s, your tax information, and that's how we, you, what we utilize to assess your need, um, your expected family contribution, all that information which is going to be um, you know, relevant to how much money and, and how much need you demonstrate that you're going to be eligible for. Um, the FRAG I talked about, there is a uh, state aid application. You fill that out. So if you are a Florida resident and you go to a private university and a full-time student, you'll be eligible for that amount. It's a little over $2,000. All this money adds up, so please utilize as much of this uh, the grant money as you can. We also do have a FAFSA forecaster, a net price calculator, um, and what these really are, these are tools that we want you to utilize um, to take advantage of because it'll give you an idea. It's not going to be 100%, um, uh, but it gives you a ballpark figure of what your expected cost might be after you know some of the financial aid um, to attend the institution. That's obviously a preliminary. Um, number but you to utilize it to kind of get a ballpark figure but then still be in contact with our financial aid office to make sure everything comes down pretty close to what your final um, net price is going to be so hope early everyone's still with me and you're, you're enjoying the presentation um, we're wrapping it up pretty quick here you know just want to you know plug our VIP page really if you are a VIP right now you know we we, we definitely we, we, we thank you um, it is the first step of the application. It really keeps you connected with the university. We have many events throughout the year um, that we will send you information on. Um, and what's nice about the VIP is you tailor it. It's unique to yourself. If you're into sports, you, you click on sports. If, if you want information on scholarship, click on scholarships, and we'll send you communications that are specific to that, to that topic. Um, again, we do have a lot of events on campus, and we, we really love to have you come on the campus. We really love to showcase this university. It is a great university. Um, our students do wonderful things, and we look forward to all the you know the uh, the potential sharks out there. Um, we are the sharks, so we love to have you come on, see the university. Um, but start the VIP page as soon as possible. Um, www.nova.edu is the main website. You can go to the admissions link. That'll pull up all the admissions information, and you can actually do your your VIP page right there. Um, once you have that, that's really the first step, and you can go into the, uh, the application and start that process. Other than that, though, I just want to thank you again um, for your time. Thank you, uh, College Week Live. Hope you're having a great experience checking out many of the wonderful colleges and universities out there. Um, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. 954-262-8000 um, is the main admissions number. It comes right in. You can go on the website. There's uh, wonderful information available to you there for financial aid, admissions, whatever you know, you're know you you're looking for. Um, it's on the website too as well. And again, if you're in the area, stop by. We'd love to talk to you. If you're not from the area, please stop by as well. Um, we'll give you a nice tour. We'll talk to you you know one-on-one -on -one about your admissions process, the financial aid. Anything really um, that's going to be you know relevant to you as you make your college experience. So again, my name is Denver. I thank you for stopping by. Um, on behalf of Nova Southeastern University, we want to encourage you. Um, please check us out. Best wishes in, in, in your experience and uh, have a good day. Thank you very much. Bye bye.